Alright, so with today's video we're going to look at how to uh, use PowerPoint with our new extended displays. And um, one of the things you need to be aware of just off the, the start is that um, this there's a lot of convenience that is added using the extended display. Um, being able to uh, have other things on your desktop while you have one thing projected on your screen. But with that added uh, convenience does create a level of complexity. Um, I would suggest uh, getting yourself comfortable with that. It's not its not extremely complex, but it, there are some things you have to learn. I would suggest spending some time playing with it, working with it, getting comfortable with it. Um, ultimately, if after a period of time you, you do it and you don't like the extended display and you want to go back to the duplicate screen, uh, you can. there's nothing that will, that's stopping you from doing that and you can do that. Um, but I would suggest uh, taking the time to kind of get comfortable using the extended display. Um, so uh, to with PowerPoint, let me show you a couple things how PowerPoint works. So I'm just going to open up a PowerPoint presentation, um, and then show you a little bit about it. Um, and so when you open up your PowerPoint, you've got all these tabs up here, and one of them is slideshow. And when you open yours up it's going to most likely say show on primary monitor um, and so when I open it up and I show to primary monitor and now I can move this over and you can't see this but what's happening is I'm moving it over to my PowerPoint and now I'm gonna start to I'm gonna view and I, I hit kick, click the button that, that says I wanna view the PowerPoint in its normal presentation mode and I click it and all of a sudden it shows up over here and that's a little confusing and so I get out of that and I, I'm not sure why that is I slide this back over here and what happens is and, and what's really neat about this is you change this to monitor 2 and f I think they'll all say this monitor 2 generic non PNP monitor okay you click on that change that and now you don't have to slide this over there it's automatically when you just click on to this to to view the slideshow as a presentation, whether you click on it here or here, however you do it, it automatically, you can't see this, but it is now projecting on my um, smart board. And so I can still see what's going on here. Now, what I click over here does affect what happens on the smart board. So I can actually change the screen on the, the smart board by, um, I, if I click over on the, the screen, and then the, the smart board screen and then I I can just scroll through using the arrow keys like I normally would or just really any um, key on your your computer will be you know most of your keys on your computer will then just click through I use most people use their arrow keys and because you can't see what's going on right now but I am I am clicking through the the you can see that it switches well it's switching on my smart board as well and I'm just clicking the right arrow key and then I click the left arrow key and it's switching all along so um, you, uh, the, so you want to spend some time playing with that um, another interesting way to um, to do so something that you may not be familiar with is you'll, you'll see this where it says use presenter view you click on click up here and use presenter view um, and uh, Hold on, let's, let, me, let me exit. And so we'll have to click over here, exit out. Um, and now I'm going to use presenter view. I've clicked that. And I click view the slideshow. And you know those notes that are down at the bottom here? And you can't ever see those once your PowerPoint's filling up? Well, now with this new way of doing it, and once I click here, you see those notes are real big right there. You can have the the what's presented on the screen projected, and you can still um, still see your notes that you have. So you don't have to print them out. You can have it on your screen, and then you can use this to switch um, from different um, pages. And y you'll notice it has a timer that helps you to keep up with the time. You see how long you've spent on a on uh, each. Um, page and, and what have you or, or how long you've been going you you've been 
doing the PowerPoint uh, and going through here. And so that's a presentation uh, presenter view. Um, so you can click that and click off of that. The neat thing about this is, um, so when it says show on, like when I first came it on, it was primary monitor, and I had to switch it to monitor to generic. Um, and at least so far when I've done this, it automatically on every PowerPoint I open subsequently, even after I've logged off and what have you, it automatically defaults to this. So you should only have to switch to this once, and it will default to that. Um, once again, if you have any problems, um, play around with it. Get, try to get comfortable with it. Try to figure it out a little bit, but also don't hesitate to uh, talk to me and ask me questions, and I'll be glad to help you. Um, and so that is uh, all I've got.